If you want to date somebody in our cultural circle, it's either he's already married mm -hmm. or he has someone that he promised. Don't fall in love too quickly because love will make you become yeah. one exclusive mumu. Hi guys! Hi! So today we have lots of stuff to talk to you guys mm. about. Yes, so. And we're outside. Outside is open. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. But all the people, they are dead. I don't know where they went to. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's okay. It's also quite early in the day. Early? It's so PM. No, but like okay, they'll they come out in walk. the evening. Yeah. Okay, they went to work and school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for some place to sit and talk with you guys and we are in Ludwigsburg yes, and that's their church it's beautiful so what would you like to eat because you're the one who is hungry so there's the pizza please yeah let's go to the pizza please okay so just want to <laughs> 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 short, so. <laughs> I think we have to wear a mask. Oh, true. All right, hi guys. So I'm spending the day with Grace today. <laughs> She's looking so hip. Maybe I have to <laughs> cover my eyes as well because this, this girl. The sun is too much. But the sun is not even here. No. Nah. No, the sun is here. I'm seeing it. <laughs> I'm seeing it for both of us. Yes. We are both young ladies in Germany. We grew up here. I was, I was, I came to Germany. I always say I was imported into Germany. And Grace was born in Germany. So. How has our experience dating in Germany been? Let me, let's just start with that question. How was your experience in Germany as a young black woman dating, finding a partner? How has it been? Um, I've not been so nice. I didn't have much dating experience. And I, I had two experiences and they were not really pleasant. The first wanted papers, the other didn't want, know what he wanted. Mm -hmm. So um, it was not. It was. It's not easy as a as a black woman, yeah. you know, as an African woman, um, either born here or, or or just generally an African woman who has German papers. It's not easy for you to find a suitable partner, you know. And even if you decide to go for a different race or a different nationality, as in your choice for your a partner. You will be met with a lot of stigma. People will say, eh, what can she say in her side? What can she say with her culture? You know? And then they will say, eh, you think it's because you are German. You think you are German now. You know, all of this. You meet, like, you, you meet racism from your own people and then you meet racism from the, the outside. The, from the outside. Her cultures, yes. Yeah. So it's not, it's not easy at all, you know? And when you say you don't want to marry anyone that does not have papers, they will say you are racist, that you hate your people. 
No issue. Mm. Okay, so what is easier? Is it easier finding somebody outside your cultural um, setting, like finding somebody from Germ like a German, finding an Italian in Germany? Is it easier opening up such a person, or is it easier finding somebody from your culture, like be it a Nigerian, in my case a Ghanaian? Um, the thing is that um, you will definitely always meet people from your culture, but the problem is that most men who were born here or the ones who came here as young children, they prefer, prefer white women. That's also another problem. Mm. They prefer white women or um, people who are like of a fairer skin tone. And it's very rare to see like uh, two people, two African people who are born here in Germany being together and married. I have not seen that before. The ones that I have seen are like it's either the girl was born here and the man was not or both of them were not born here. But to see two people born and brought up here and married here, I have not seen that. I have. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, I don't know if they, they were both born here. I know the girl was definitely born here. But I think the guy too, or he came later on, um, but he grew up here as well because he speaks really good German and everything. And they've, they've been together, they've had a beautiful wedding, I think they have a baby now. It does happen that they meet here and they find each other, but I think you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you meet your African prince. A lot of pharaohs, then before you get to Moses. <laughs> It's not it's, it's evil, yeah, but not as evil. Yeah. Pharaoh is evil. You, know, you have to call it Pharaoh. Yeah, the thing is, um, I feel sometimes like meeting somebody from your culture, it's easy. And even then it's not always easy because you might have grown in a in a in a Nigerian setting here. Mm -hmm. Your parents have spoken your language with you, you speak your um, African languages and everything. But there are certain things that you think differently in like when it comes to maybe how um, the relationship should be who is the head who is not because here like in Germany there's hardly anyone who tells that I'm the head of the relationship or I'm the head of the marriage yeah. it's a, like more of a, um, a teamwork mm -hmm. and everybody holds their own weight and together we achieve things or something or your happiness is your own responsibility you're happy on your own and then once after you finish your you find your happiness we can be happy together basically sometimes this is how it is, you mm -hmm. know. You, you basically have to be your own woman. Mm -hmm. But in an African setting, for example, a guy who grew up in Africa or in Nigeria or in Ghana, he'll be like, I'm the head, I have to tell you what to do. And Even if you are the one walking, he wants to control your mind. Yeah, and I think sometimes too, it, it gives us a, some kind of imbalance because that's, this is a man who is so strong on his ego mm -hmm. or in his ego, it feels like he's a man. But at the same time, since he wants to stay in Germany, mm -hmm. he, he's, he's trying to do everything to please you. It's true. Mm -hmm. And then once he gets it, he's expecting submission from you. Mm -hmm. And you're also not used to giving that kind of submission. Because mm -hmm. I think love and submission go hand in hand. But mm -hmm. that kind of submission that the guy is looking for, you, you can't give it. Mm -hmm. It's true. So, you can't give it at all. You know, and also, the thing is that, um, like, um, we, 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 we grew up here. Mm -hmm. And even with people from our country, we have a culture clash with them. Well, yes, because we have this um, mentality of um, you know that of reciprocity and that a man cannot oppress a woman, but they come from a background or from an upbringing that tells them a man can do whatever he wants. Yes, and then the woman has to accept it or like it or whatnot, you know. And we are the kind of people who don't tolerate that, you know. And then they'll start saying you are arrogant, you are this, you are that, you know. And they'll start um, painting your name black. You know, no. it's, it's really, it's, it's not, it's yeah, not I think easy. They think that for me to be submissive, you have to oppress me. But all you have to do for me to submit is that you have to, um, what, what is this, um, demonstrate wisdom. The thing is that here in Germany, um, police is not for fancy, it actually works. But yeah. in Nigeria, police is just decoration. They will, if you bribe them, they go. Mm. But here, if, you, if uh, like, um, a lot of African men, they hate the fact that when they, they misbehave, that the woman can call police on them. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that then don't don't just don't misbehave. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to face the consequences of a particular action, then don't take that action. I don't know what is so difficult to understand. I don't know like the mentality of African men is is frightening. Of most, let, let's yeah. not even generalize. But some of them are actually really scary, and 
one thing is I understand that being in Africa is not an option for many people but you don't have to lie to your fellow African woman just because you want to secure a stay here meanwhile yeah. you are married back home mm -hmm. meanwhile they have um, promised five girls eh, if I come back home I'll, do it, I'll marry you and then after they will, even let me tell you my own experience so mm -hmm. <laughs> There's one a person who said before he wanted to marry me. I didn't like him. I still did not accept him. But because of the pressure that was involved, I accepted him. And later it came out that he, not that he only wanted pepper. Of course, he came for pepper primarily. But he had one in Kechi already cooking and cleaning for his mother in her kitchen already. Mm -hmm. That is the, the wife already. To the point he already knew her, her private issues. How can you know somebody's private issues if that girl is not at least your girlfriend mm -hmm. or your wife? Even if it was a Phoebe who enlightened me and said that it's his wife. Or, <laughs> it's his wife. I didn't believe No, because the kind I, of information he was giving Grace no, about wow. the, the, the other girl was like it's too intimate to like yeah. you can't know it unless you are like unless you're actually you're monitoring the per yes yeah and he has an interest in knowing mm -hmm. her going and her coming and all mm -hmm. of that so he said he want to buy canvas for her and 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 mobile phone to talk the private things that only them is supposed to know then i was saying okay no wahala. no problem Go. like there's so good. many other experiences and for me it's like there's a lot of time wasting going on and of course i'm not sitting here to say that i'm not going to sit here and say um dating outside of our cultural setting is the best way for it there are good african men we have there brothers are. who are well brought up it's who true. have a good set of head on their shoulders or on their necks and they are caring people they think they are wise they are hard working yeah. they are truthful they are god fearing we have brothers like that so we know that not all guys are like this but it is just scary it is just scary as african girls you know because it's it's not the same thing finding somebody who speaks the same language with you who understands the, your taste in music mm -hmm. who eats the same food as you who just has the same vibe as you but if mm -hmm. that person is coming in with deceit is it really worth it mm -hmm. is not, it you know the thing is that um you african men out there please change your behavior because at the end you're not winning the thing is that you know um there's a lot of men who are here in Germany, a lot of our African men who are here in Germany. The, the struggles that they are facing are as a result of a lot of broken hearts that they have caused. Mm. And the thing is that God is not a fool. He will make sure whatever a man sows through what he reaps. You can't come with the intention of breaking a girl's heart and you think you will succeed in life. Yeah, no, that's true. No, you will never succeed. Yeah. There's no peace for the wicked. The word of God cannot lie. Yes. You know? <laughs> there is no peace for the wicked. No. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, there's no peace. The thing is that it's not about taking revenge, but the thing is that, you know, you, you cannot be mean and be bad and you think your your life is going to be good. I don't know I don't know where that mentality comes from. You know? So people please don't do this, you know. So um for my women out there, you know, do what your heart Want. like at the end of the day it is you who's going to live with that person if it's a white person a, an italian a swedish a greek whatever a black white green or yellow person it does not matter as long as you are happy with the person as long as you know you can live with the person as long as you know you can live in understanding with the person just go ahead and marry the person you will not say your culture this is. i know a woman in our church <laughs> she was married She's to a German man keys. Mm -hmm. A German man, the man was good to her, take care of her, you know, make sure she's okay, even bought a car for her. She saw one man and said, eh, she want to marry culture. She went to culture, culture beat her up, and Ooh. culture divorced her, and now she's a single mother. So please, marry the one that, the, if he takes care of you, even if it's a blue or green man, no wahala, stay there, be happy. At the end of the day, it's your happiness. Yes, and your safety, your peace of mm -hmm. mind. It's not about the culture. Uh, a lot of people look at the um, the uh, a lot of women are suffering in marriages in Nigeria, and these are people, Nigeria and Africa. These are people who marry people from their culture, even from their same maybe kindred or from their yeah. same village or whatever. You know, so yeah. the world is globalizing. There's not there's nothing wrong in being in a relationship that is interracial. It's it's a beautiful thing to cultures to. Two traditions, two two yeah. people coming together. You know? 
Yeah, and so. also just keep your eyes open and listen to your instincts, really. Listen to your because yeah. those first few days that you get to meet someone, you're talking with someone, you realize that oh, something is off. Yeah. Just advise yourself mm -hmm. and accept that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And don't fall in love too quickly because love will make you to become yeah. one exclusive mumu that you can You know, in German yourself. there's this thing healthy but cop no, cop you but health or the health. Okay, some people actually say healthy but cops. Like heart over your head, but me, I say cop with my health because mm -hmm. or cop mid health. You, you're going with your heart, but let your head come with you. Mm -hmm. When you meet someone as well, don't just leave yourself and uh, that, that's not what I want to say. I let just let your world not revolve around the person alone. Don't lose yourself just because you're in a relationship. Uh -huh. Make sure that you're still your own person, your own opinions. Like when somebody steps on your toes or someone does something you don't like, you have to say, I don't like this. Yeah. You don't have to accept it just because you want to be in a relationship. You really don't have to. Yeah, and one you know? thing one thing that I've also noticed is um, one of the challenges I, I see with getting married as two Africans in Germany is we all want to take something home. Like most of the people actually want to build home. And if you were born here, this is where you've been. This is actually your home, kind of. It's like your parents' home is Nigeria or is Ghana, but this is where you grew up. So you would want to start like your property here. Mm -hmm. So it also causes a lot of strife when your partner is hiding his resources, he's hiding his finances, uh -huh. and he's building at home, and he's not even contributing to the house. A lot of families have that here as well. And it's one thing that scares me mm -hmm. because at the end of the month, it's not just you guys' salary, but it's also the family at home salary, you know? They're also waiting for something, they, or you, you're building something. It's, it's just not easy. You know, it's not. So communication is very important. Yeah. And openness. Mm -hmm. Openness. It, it is. It is definitely very much important. Yeah. You have to be open to your partner, talk to certain things about certain things, talk to them about certain things. And if you realize that you're not on the same wavelength, just abort mission. It's not by force. Yeah. Marriage is not. Don't allow anybody to pressure, pressurize your marriage because you'll be crying. Nobody will hear you. Mm -hmm. Especially if you know that you can't. You know, that all the signs are so clear that it's not going to work. Just go. Just go. Yeah. And at the end, you'll be happy that you, you, you did it. You know, it's better for you to cry now than to cry in 20 years when it's too late. Mm -hmm. But you know one thing that I observe, if you want to date somebody in our cultural circle, it's either he's already married mm -hmm. or he has someone that he promised. Yes. So like the thing is, first of all, the numbers here are not really encouraging. Mm -hmm. Like it's like 22 women chasing one guy. It's true. That's how it feels like. And that for me is one of the reasons why I'm like, let me exit, mm -hmm. you know, let, let me just try other other cultures. Let me try other people. Let me see how, what is mm -hmm. in other cultures. But that is one thing. The numbers are not encouraging. We have a very small dating pool. Very small. And another discouraging thing is amable. Apruku. African Concerns. community is piam, 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 Keep your relationship piam, piam. out of Instagram. Facebook. Don't, don't, don't talk about you. Because once they're talking lie. about you, they open the Instagram. This is the guy. Mm. He's not even working. Doesn't even have people. Mm. Or they will start so saying things she's not about even fine. you. And you mm -hmm. see that's one who is talking that you're not, you're not, you're not even fine. Mm -hmm. that and that's one of the obvious. reasons why I don't mean post my relationship that much because hmm. I was in a relationship it? before <laughs> and a Nigerian walked to my then partner and said, she's not, she's not beautiful, she's ugly. <gasps> that's man, ugly. No, I, for, don't I don't try to <laughs> If it's not at least tons yes, of and all kinds of other why, things. Why are we like that? Why do we have to be pulling each other down? The thing is that we black people, we always complain of racism, but yet we are we're hateful towards each other. Like, let me tell you something. A black person can really, in front of a white person, deny you his fellow black, but a white person will never do that against his uh, fellow white Unless person. Unless what the other white person is doing no, is wrong. He, he will deny the act. He will, he will say that, okay, he will try to make peace. Yes. But he will not go on your side. Yes. A white person can never do That's one thing about white people. They stick together, you know? Even, they, even if we see that their, their fellow white is wrong, they will, they they will try to de escalate the and situation. And say, please, everybody calm down. But they will not stand on your side and say, eh, yes, you are right. Mm -mm. But, white, but black people, hmm. 
they will deny you even if your brother from the same mood, same father same mother they will deny you this they will, they will finish you yeah. like we have to the thing is that we are complaining about racism but we are racist look at tribalism everywhere and that's we another thing like so i once was um trying to know someone and if you know i'm i was born in takradi so i was born in the west but my uh, my grandpa is from the east as in Volta region and my dad was is a togolese born in ghana so i'm basically an, an ewa chick and <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I was there, I was there. This guy said, oh, she's an airway. The mom was like, yeah? <laughs> because I have juju, right? <laughs> That's what they were thinking. And I was like, why did your mom say, yeah? And it's like, no, my mom said, ah. I'm like, ah, oh, come on. <laughs> and this will never not be funny. So it's better, I just move geographical locations with this whole dating thing. Like, let me just go far. Yeah. <laughs> Than me being in the same country, they're still going to be discriminating against mm -hmm. me. That's also another thing. Like, we are so divided within ourselves. And it has a lot of influence in who we are, really. It does. Mm -hmm. But um, there's one, there's a difference between taking pride in your culture mm -hmm. and taking pride in who you are yes. and still being wise enough to accept other people, or not accept, but tolerate. Tolerate other people. Live and let's live, you know? And mind your business. We are so nosy, we Africans. Oh my God. Like, you, like when you look good, they want to know where you're working, where you're living, where this, where that. Like, you know? Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's just so disheartening, you know. Africans we don't stick together. Black people don't stick together. There's one guy who insulted Magic Johnson before. He said it that black people don't stick together. When mm -hmm. the one gets um, um, successful, they want to keep it for themselves. to so not put share. Their, they yeah. not share. You know, they, they don't like to share, you know. And it's bad and because it's we have to bad. keep the wealth going. Yeah. We have to keep it um, evolving in general. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, my people, please change your change. <laughs> yes, including you. Uh-uh. And then, no, that's where my vaccination is. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know she didn't tell me she, time. No, I told you she put it on the left arm. Um, how will I, you were standing the other side. I was thinking this is the left side, but the other side. Come my hand. Guys, guys, you see what Grace is doing to me? Anyway. She's the one who taught me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you've come to, with us to Ludwigsburg. We've shown you around. Tell us, sister dear. We don't know how. <laughs> so yeah, you joined us today. Grace will be coming on my other channel as well on PB Space. We'll be talking about relationships and stuff there. So if you have dilemmas, you know things you want to bring us to in do. your questions, I'll answer them. But I'll give you tough love. Oh. I'll, I'll not pet you. I'll not. I'll not uh, uh, cradle you. No. No I'll sugar coating. No it's sugar straight coating. love. Yeah. Uh, the tough one, the one that will pain you, but the one that will help you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that is what we're going to be doing <laughs> on Phoebe's face. But today I just thought of us talking about our experience as young women finding partners. Catch us on Phoebe's face. If you have not yet subscribed to the Phoebe Way and to the uh, Phoebe Space channel, do so. Mm -hmm. Grace is going to be with us. If mm -hmm. you like Grace, just let her know. As someone. Yeah, please oh, tell me if you like me. If you don't like me, I don't care either. <laughs> <laughs> love goes where love is. Simple. Mm -hmm. Simple. <laughs> yeah, so see you guys next video. Take good care of yourselves. Bye. Adi.